Yeah, I'm going to take Shepard, the value play that Jeff just mentioned. He looked great in the first two weeks before injury. Now, yes, it's true. There's tons of injury concerns. If you've been following the Giants like we have, they get injured every week. A new receiver goes down. So, yeah, you got to worry about that. But we can't predict that. We don't know if Shepard's going to get injured on the fourth or fifth play of the game. But, you know, in the three full games that he's played, he's caught nine passes. Your average nine catches for 90 yards per game. The first two weeks, he was in an absolute perfect rhythm with Daniel Jones. And as Jeff mentioned, in his first game back, he got 14 targets and looked like he hadn't missed a game at all. I know Tony's right there as well, but Shepard has been his favorite target. And again, if for whatever reason Kansas City blows out the Giants, then there should be plenty of garbage points here for Shepard. If it's close, then I've got to believe that it's Shepard, not Devontae Booker, that's yep. making this game close. So, Jeff, natural stack then with Shepard would be Jones, right? Or do you want to do something else? I mean, it's definitely Jones, and I agree with what Pierce said. I think people are going to judge Jones based on his last three games. That's wrong because he had, didn't have any receivers. He had really tough matchups. But let's let's we'll talk about someone else to give our producers some extra content here because I do <laughs> think you can stack with someone on the other side. And I think Daryl Williams in the spot makes a ton of sense. Maybe it doesn't make the most sense for the Chiefs to give Daryl Williams like 20 touches in this game, but you do feel like that's going to be the reaction from Andy Reid after just an insanely bad outing by his high volume pass offense or his high flying pass offense. Last time we saw the Chiefs go up against the weak NFC East opponent, it was the Washington football team. Daryl Williams got 21 touches. He scored twice. He's not the most explosive back, but this Giants uh, rush defense, it is one of the worst in the league. You know, they're, they're 10th worst in terms of yards per carry allowed. Uh, they've allowed a lot of big games to opposing running backs. I do think Daryl Williams is probably going to have a decent game here. You're probably going to see him breaking off you know, six, eight yard chunks with regularity. And at the end of the game, you're going to add it all up and be like, wow, this guy's got, you know, 80, maybe 100 all purpose yards. And he's probably found the end zone once. The Chiefs have a massive implied team total here. Daryl Williams is going to get the red zone looks. He's playing over 65% of the snaps when he's healthy. Jerick McKinnon's just coming in for scraps. It's again, it's not a sexy play, but like if I'm stacking a Jones Sterling Shepard combo on the other side, you've got to figure. Uh, Darrell Williams is probably getting some scores for the Chiefs and, and making the Giants pass more. So I like stacking my Shepard captain spot with, uh, you know, just a, a Darrell Williams in the flex.